today we're gonna be doing a get ready with me and I just got out out of the shower um, I just didn't wash my hair so I put it up in a bun just this like band um, I, I am going to be getting ready because it's my niece's birthday so I think we're gonna go out for lunch with her so yeah um I was gonna like talk through it but I have to hurry up because um, it's almost time to meet at the at the place we're going so I'm gonna go ahead and just let you guys watch and put some music on and I really hope you guys enjoy it all the products I use will be down in the description box um, before I start I want to do like a little quick haul I went to Ulta because you guys are gonna see me using this stuff in this video so I went to Ulta and I went ahead and picked up the professional just because I used to use this before but I stopped and now I'm going back to it um, so I decided to use it again I don't know uh, it's really nice for, uh, for if you have large pores because I tend to have really big pores around my my cheek area my nose and right here in between my eyebrows so this is really nice for your face to look really nice and smooth it does really cover up your pores a lot so I really recommend you guys try it out um, and also I've got the um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue and this is just a, a glue for glitter because I am going to be using um, another thing I bought from NYX and it's just like a silver glitter and I don't think I have ever done a silver makeup look so I'm going to go ahead and um, use that glitter and this is going to be my glitter glue and I really recommend you guys try this product out too. It's really nice and I'm going to go ahead and throw the boxes out now because I hate saving the box and look at how cute the packaging is. It has like glitter right here and it's so adorable. So got the Tarte Swirl Power Cheek Brush and this is just like a contour brush. Um, I thought it was so cute because I don't really have or own any brushes from Tarte and I really like how this is like wood I don't know I really like this so I mainly got it because as uh, you guys can see the shape I think it's really good for contouring so I hope this works it feels super soft it's really nice um, I have heard great things about Tarte brushes so I'm gonna go ahead and try it out and I hope I like it and um, yeah it feels really really soft I'm like obsessed with it already and then um, I also got some lashes and I got some of my favorite ones. This is the Glamour Ardell um, 111 Black Lashes. It says black there, but um, if they're just like normal lashes. and But these are really like long and dramatic. I really like them. Um, I really like Ardell lashes because they feel super comfortable and like natural on my eye. So I really recommend you guys try this brand of lashes too. As I was looking for my eyebrow pencil, I pulled up also this MAC mascara I got. And um, this is called, it's just mascara, but I think it was like a 3D something. I'm not sure about the name. I tried it like a few times already and I thought I was going to like it. I think that if you're one of those persons that like very black, thick, um, dramatic lashes, like if you have really pretty lashes, like really um, long lashes and you just want something that looks very black and thick, well this is it. But since my lashes are so thin, they made it look really weird. So it also makes it look like heavy. Like if I have a lot or if I have way too much on my eyelashes. Because I feel like I have very little eyelashes. Like I don't have lashes at all. So um, it looked pretty weird. But I'm going to give it another try. And see if it was just that time. I don't know. Because usually um, when I open it too, like I feel like a lot of product comes out. Like see that like a whole bunch of product be coming out and yeah that it's really annoying because I put it in my eye and it's like a big old mess so oh, oh yeah wait a minute I was gonna talk about that eyebrow pencil too see I'm kind of going crazy right now um I dropped my whole brush little thing in the floor I dropped my lipstick out my lipstick drawer I don't know what's going on with me but I was like going crazy just trying to set up because it's like so little and crowded here it's so annoying but anyways um I, I got this brow definer from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I have tried this pencil a few times and I have also tried the brow width pencil which is way slimmer it's like very thin and this is like the triangle looking pencil triangular brow pencil so I got it in the color chocolate and as you guys can see the tip is like triangular so it's really nice and on this one 
the tip is like super thin and, and um, little. And just like a quick review, um, I think that this is for people who want a more defined eyebrow since it's so thin and little. And this one, it's for those that want like a quicker, faster eyebrow, like just fill it in. That's what I'm going to be doing today. Just fill it in quick and clean it up and let's go. But this is since it's, since it's too little, um, you have to really work work it out and trying to figure out the shape and just fill it in little by little since it's really thin but it's really nice for drying those like hair strokes right here in the inner part so um i've been enjoying both of them i think it's just preference so just wanted to kind of pull that out for so for my first step i'm gonna be moisturizing my face um i'm using this set of fill moisturizer it's a really good moisturizer for both um oily or dry skin it's really good for all skin types and i really recommend it and it's also very um, cheap and affordable you can find it at Walmart and I'm gonna be applying it um, all the way down to my neck so uh, right here you guys are gonna see a little clip of my puppy Sophie just wanted you guys to meet her she's our little chihuahua she's our baby um, and I'm gonna start off with my eyebrow for my eyebrows I use the Anastasia or Anastasia brow definer and the color is chocolate I really like this pencil you guys I feel like I could get my eyebrows done so quick and um, as I explained in the little review I did, I do like it because it's pretty quick to do and it literally takes me like 60 seconds in each eyebrow. So yeah, um, I really hope you guys give them a try. If you have to go to work or stuff like that, I think it's going to be a really good product for you because you're just going to feel it in all quick and done. I, at first I was a little bit nervous because it's pretty thick, but no, trust me you guys, it's really easy to work with. Um, I really recommend it. So to color up out the eyebrows, I'm going to be taking this color from the Anastasia um, Cream Contour Palette, Anastasia. I keep on calling it Anastasia, but that's just the way I like to call it. So Anastasia or Anastasia Beverly Hills, you guys already know the, what I'm talking about. And I'm doing it with this MAC 242 Concealer Brush and just um, curving on my eyebrows, defining them a little bit. And I really like this color because it's, it's really like bright. It's going to brighten my under... Um, my eyebrow bone so it gives me like a more lifted effect i don't know i really like it and i also apply right here in the center because i am going to be highlighting that part in a minute so to prime my eyes i'm gonna be taking the mac paint um paint pot in soft ochre and for my eyes today i'm gonna be using the jacqueline hill morphe palette and i'm taking this brush from mac it's a blending brush I cannot remember the freaking number but I'll write it down somewhere in the description box and I'm just applying that in the crease with this blending brush just back and forth I'm making sure I'm defining that color and I'm gonna go for more of a um, warm brownish crease today so I'm applying this color as my transition and then I'm gonna be blending it upward to uh, mix it almost touching my brow bone but trying to keep a little bit of that space blank so when I apply my highlight So this is the second color I'm going to be using, this right here I pointed, um, and I'm using my MAC 217 brush, and this is just a crease blending brush, um, and I'm applying that to create more definition, as you can see, it's like 3 or 4 tones darker than that first eyeshadow we applied, so I'm just going to apply that right in the crease, going back and forth with my blending brush and that um, color, just to make sure everything is nice and blended, because you want to kind of connect the colors together and just create like a... I don't know like a blending effect so um, I'm gonna be applying that and then after that I'm gonna move on to my second eye you guys should try this eyeshadows for real like Murphy is really cheap um, I'm gonna put the link down below so you guys can try them out I really really like the quality of the eyeshadows and the price it's bomb um, this palette I think it was limited edition but um, I don't know if you can still get it not sure so then we're gonna go with this darker chocolate brown color and we're gonna apply that right in the crease again just to create more dimension and to smoke that part 
more um, out and then I'm gonna go ahead and take my blending brush and just blend that again Next, we're going to be taking the Too Faced Glitter Primer and we're going to um, go ahead and apply this on the eyelid just to apply my uh, pigment. And I'm going to be using this MAC pigment. All the names and the things will be, and all the products I use will be listed down below for you guys to check it out. But it's like this really white, frosty color. I really, really love it because like it's a pigment and it's loose so it's really really vibrant so it's one of my favorites and especially if you pair it up with this glue because it's a pigment and it sticks to it so it's not gonna go anywhere and that's what i really like about it and this is gonna work as a base for my glitter because i just don't want to throw my glitter there because you might be able to see my skin through it so i wouldn't like that thing that will look pretty awkward so whenever you guys use glitter just make sure you guys apply a base of the same color the glitter is yeah i think it gives it a pretty effect So once again, I'm going to be applying the glue um, and then I'm going to be applying the glitter on top. And I'm using the NYX silver glitter I showed in the haul. It's just like a really pretty silver glitter. And I'm just applying that with the same brush and just pressing it down. Um, I kind of got the cut crease effect, but not really. It's more like a soft cut crease because as I was looking back through the clips, I was like, wow, it looks like a cut crease. But I didn't even try to cut the crease or nothing. I just literally... Um, just did the shape of my eye so so we're gonna go ahead and move on to this black eyeshadow and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on the crease to darken out the crease and just make it dark and smoky so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that and blend it with my 217 brush and just kind of go back and forth And we're going to use a liquid eyeliner because I think it's easier to work with um, glitter once you use a gel liner. It kind of gets stuck through the glitter. Now I'm going to be using the Ardell Lashes Eye Haul. Two. These are the 111. So whenever we're using um, glitter, make sure to apply your glitter first then do your foundation. So I already primed. I used my professional primer. And um, I'm going to be mixing these two foundations, the Becca uh, foundation and my... Uh, double wear foundation and I'm mixing both of them because right now the Becca one is a little bit too yellow for me so the um, Estee Lauder one is going to give me a little bit of a brighter uh, more white tone so it's going to like cut the yellow out and I'm just applying that with this stippling brush from Crown Brushes all over my face and now I'm going to go ahead and move to concealer and I'm using this um, con master concealer from MAC and this is the number one so I'm gonna use this under the eye to highlight and to cover my under eyes which I don't really have a dark spot or under eyes but I still love to highlight and I love concealer so I still go all crazy and kick myself up so to blend all that cake up I'm gonna go ahead and take this beauty blender and it's a jump beauty blender and just pressing it down making sure everything is nice and blended so um, I'm just going to go ahead and do that all over the places I highlighted and yeah um, just pretty much boring blending blending steps and you guys want to make sure you guys really really blend this because it looks pretty awkward if you don't trust me I have left my house before and once I'm in the car I'm like oh no gotta go back and blend that shit out because it's 
sometimes it's hard to tell when you're not like in natural light so just watch out for that but go ahead and blend it really really nice until your freaking hand hurts so to set my um highlight i'm gonna be taking the anastasia contour palette and i'm gonna be applying this I think this is called vanilla. I'm not sure, but I'll list the name down below. I'm just applying this with this brush I got at Target. It was like for $3, and I really like it for my powder for the under eye. It's really, really good. So, yeah, I'm just applying that powder because you want to make sure and set that right away so it won't crease. Um, then I'm going to move on to kind of contouring and bronzing a little bit because first I like to bronze. And I'm using this uh, color from... The same palette, uh, I think this is called Fawn, and I'm just gonna really bronze up my skin with this. And just yeah, give me more color. And I'm using this MAC brush that I will list down below as well. It's a really good brush for um, bronzer because it's nice and fluffy, and I really like how it blends and how and soft it is. So I'm gonna list it down below. So to dip in the count the contour, I'm gonna be taking this other color, which I don't know the name, but I'll list it down below as well. And I'm going to be applying it right where I apply my contour just to kind of create more depth and just make it look darker so I look a little bit more contoured. So yeah, um, this is like an extra step. You guys, you guys can skip this, but I really, really like this step. So I'm going to be taking this uh, MAC blush and I'm going to be applying that with um, a MAC brush again. Yeah, this is a MAC brush. And just applying that on the apples of my cheeks, dragging it. To the back of my hairline because i really like to drag it down i don't like to concentrate the brush just in one area like just on the apple i think that looks kind of awkward so i really like to drag it down that's just my preference so i'm gonna highlight with my nars albatross highlighter and once i applied it i really liked it but then i thought that it was too gold for my sparkly silver look so i went ahead and applied rivera from anastasia or anastasia and it made it look completely better so i really really like this freaking highlight i'm obsessed with it and i've been trying to get i think it's called so hollywood and it's been sold out but hopefully i get my hands on that pretty soon then i'm gonna go ahead and apply a dark black um eyeliner and this one's from sephora it's super creamy and it's waterproof so if your eyes water a lot this won't go anywhere it's really nice and it's pretty affordable so i really recommend it um, and I'm just applying that. Then I'm going to take a little bit of black eyeshadow to blend that eyeliner out. And just make sure it's like nice and smoked out. Because I really like the effect of smoky eyes on my bottom eye, um, lashes. So I usually always go back and darken the outer crease. Just because I like it more black. As soon as I'm like done, I'm like, okay, a little bit of touch up. So I add more color always. And um, I'm just adding a little bit more of the brown and the black just to create more definition and to do it darker because I always like darker. I don't know. I like more dramatic looks than natural. That's just my preference. And then I'm going to apply this MAC 3D mascara. And just applying that on my lashes so my natural lashes and my fake lashes will stick together once I curl them. And don't forget to apply mascara on your bottom lashes as well. And yeah, um, now I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes with this Tarte Curler, Eyelash Curler I got from Sephora. And I have mentioned it before, I got it in the holiday collection. But it's really, really nice. I recommend if you guys have trouble like finding a good eyelash curler, try this one. I guarantee this will curl your lashes, like for real. So, then for lips, I'm going to be taking the Kevin G Liquid Lipstick in color. Um, it's love, but it's spelled L-U-V. So, I'm just um, applying that and I'm going to be really careful with this because it's liquid lipstick and if it dries, it literally stays there. So, I'm going to be using two um, liquid lipsticks today. I'm going to be mixing this with my ColourPop lipstick which i don't know the name but i will definitely list it down below it's just like a deeper purple color and i'll let i'm gonna go ahead and fill out the bottom part as well um make sure you guys really take your time with this because lip liquid lipstick will seriously stay there and it won't go nowhere 
so yeah now i'm applying that second color i was talking about and it's like a darker purple but i really liked it way better than that first one i feel like that first one had a more of a magenta pink undertone so this um deep purple was really pretty except for when it freaking dried on me like completely dry like in less than three minutes this thing was dry and it was like sucking the whole shit of moisture out of my lips it was so nasty i wanted to take it off so bad but if i would have taken it off i would have ruined it because i also did the mistake of applying way too much so it was like really really bad but yeah um i really hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and yeah bye oh no wait a minute we're gonna continue into another little goodbye clip um my camera died i know like always and then i had to do some things real quick and um it's been about three hours already oh my god the liquid lipstick i hate it so much it's like bleeding it's so dry you guys um color pop is really cheap but those liquid lipsticks are not good for your lips like they feel super dry i'm not sure why but they just feel nasty on your lips that's it I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, intro because I'm barely back and I need to do like a quick um, thumbnail. So yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one.